Welcome to this edition of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you guys the design of this bracket I came up with for my Chinese mini lathe, if you will. It's a Harper Freight version, and one of the things I wanted to do is, is add a poor man's DRO to it, or digital readout. So I decided to use a dial indicator to do that yet I needed a bracket to mount this to the actual collar of the adjustment knob or whatever you would call it for what I'm referring to as the y-axis and so that's where the centerpiece goes and I'll have some overlays so you can kind of see how it goes together uh, the other thing that I ran into is this little space over here because I had originally designed this out uh, so this was one solid unit but there's also an arm that comes down to engage um, you know the travel carriage and so this was was hitting up here so I had to do a little bit of a hack to knock that out and I'll show you guys uh, where that is and that's down here create knockout this is a hack <laughs> I wanted to be very clear about it because um, this is rather crude uh, but I couldn't think of a really an easier better way to do it but you can kind of see here it takes that out and then if I go back and I return this now I also added just for cosmetics this sort of uh, fillet piece here that uh, uh, you know just improves the look of it a little bit I also use the same type of fillet concept here in rounding concept here again more so for aesthetics so it, it looks good um, and I set it up to be parametric so we have all the measurements up here so if your lathe doesn't doesn't match this one you can simply adjust it to you know match it uh, so that's what I think is kind of neat and I also can see a use for this for other mills and uh, uh, things like that where you want to mount a dial indicator uh, to some sort of collar this probably will work for reuse in that case it's all pretty well documented here uh, I'm using in this this configuration size and you can kind of see it up here uh, where do I have it uh, right here mounting diameter 3.2 so these are the bolt holes I'm basically using m3s to mount this um, and again everything is pretty configurable here including the gap so I've got um, you know how thick is the gap and the extensions for the X and, and, and Z for this bracket over here uh, outside of that it's pretty straightforward I've used my standard module configuration uh, I have separated it out into a separate module for sort of ease of use uh, because actually to add this curved piece in here I was mentioning a little bit earlier because I'm differencing it out in a block uh, to get that to stay in I had to separate the DRO module well the, the main body into a module on its own and then add back in the curve piece separately to keep the um, the knockout hack from from eating up the um, insert so anyways hopefully you found it interesting if you did give it a big thumbs up I've got the STLs out on Thingiverse the code will be out on the open SCAD site if you want to get a copy of it uh, again pretty straightforward and, and pretty handy so anything where you need to latch onto some sort of collar and create a 90 degree offset hey this is your code so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video where we design something else in open SCAD. cheers